Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here. I'm just turning down my volume a little bit. Um, here with the rescue case. Um, this is a Biomet 3i case that was referred to me by a local dentist. And right now we're dealing with two things. We have a fractured screw fragment. And I'll show you what that looks like now. It's a conical abutment, one of the earlier ones. So we're faced with uh, products that are no longer being made. Once again, uh, the company was kind enough to call me back and, uh, and work with me on identification. So we had to do this uh, in order to find out where we're heading. So first thing first, identify the parts. So here we are. <coughs> be something caught there okay and um, this is the component this is the top of the the screw that actually goes through uh, into the abutment itself it's a conical abutment so this is the top of that below it is a fracture portion so that portion is as well into the um, the fixture all this fits underneath not through the top of this crown but underneath it and this is the screw we call the, um, I'm not going to give you the number of the screw, but it's called a prosthetic screw. And it's just hand tightened to hold the crown in place. Now, a little bit on the top of this, you can see where there's a lot of working of a device to tighten it. In fact, it looks like part of the issue could have been angulation where the driver wasn't seated all the way and it kind of caused the metal to mar and uh, caused some deformity so you can see that pretty clearly so we're setting that aside obviously we're not going to put any of the original parts back in there um, or because you know they just now this is the um, this is the crown and if you look at the access this is the distal aspect you can almost see like this might have been what hung up the shaft itself the way the the access hole was created so then that caused the driver to go in on an angle and never be able to tighten it properly that's one of my theories so we don't know that's hard to prove but you can see that this is all undercut on the distal aspect and this is all the mesial so it's a cantilever kind of a crown if you look at it and so forces on one end can cause the other one to teeter as well so you have to look at the occlusion it looks like there's a lot of occlusal adjustments that were made too on the buccal cusp so if there's a flat occlusion then more all the more the better we have to lighten up the bite so we're going to hang on to the crown we're going to hang on to the broken screws if we can get all the parts out then basically bottom line if you can find another possibly another conical abutment that would fit, we might be able to put all this back together again without having to go through a new crown. That's that's our wish list, but uh, first thing we have to do now is remove this plug that was in there. Um, plug was in there since the last time we saw our patient last, uh, last time, so we're going to have you retract with the mirror. Okay, let me know if I'm bothering you at all. We're going to come in with the suction. I'm just going to remove some of that saliva. Turn a little bit toward me, please. Okay. Okay, so that's, and just a little more to the right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so here's part of the discovery. We found that this is the conical abutment there was a prior attempt now this is showing movement today uh, different from last time so there is movement we got to find out is it the movement of the fixture or is it the movement of the abutment so if it's the movement of the entire fixture then it's going to be a very short visit today and we're going to have to just refer him to have the fixture removed completely so there is some some pus and some things coming up from the uh, from the gum line, some exudate, as we call it. Now I'm going to rinse that exudate. So there is movement. 
No, I didn't see that last time. He was in just for a quick check. So there is movement there. And our hope is that what that is is just basically, uh, you know, the the abutment. So here's our rubber gasket. I'll just pull that out gently, remove it, and there's the inside of the internal aspect. All right, now. Let's just see if this decides to walk out on its own. Have you turned more toward me? Let me have a micro suction tip. I'll take it. Okay. Okay, let's focus on just holding this right now, and I'll take that. Okay, let's bring that around. Give me some line. Okay, here we go. So we got to suction around it and see what's going on. Are you okay? Okay. Well, we're just suctioning around it. Turn toward me. Well, we need to look down in the shaft somehow, so let's try that next. So this is what's going to be. Uh, we need the long explorer. Okay. So this will tell me if it is the abutment and everything. I'm going to get real close to it, and you can see. Focusing inside, that's why. And down in there. So we got to try to figure out if it's the entire. It's a little hard to see, so I'm going to use a different instrument. Okay, and let's do this again. I'm going to retract his lip a little bit. Hold on. Open up a little bit for me. Microsuction. It's got to go under. <clears throat> okay.
transferring out. Okay. I need you to hold that. I don't need any air. Okay. So you can see this is the top of the um, where the hemostat was placed by the prior dentist, um, and it is bent on the rim. Um, it could very well be that the abutment has finally come free, but you know, would it just pop up for us would be the next question. Uh, I'm trying to look straight down past all this to the fracture area. Pull a little less, a little less on that, less tension. And we can see if the screw is even mobile. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just, let's just see with a different instrument. If we can reach down and just see if it would be able to pull it up. Yep, we got it. There it is. So we've got your abutment, cotton pliers. Hold on. Cotton pliers. Okay. There's the abutment. <clears throat> it came out. So we got we got the first part, folks. So that's out. Now we got to get the fragment out. So that's good news. That's that's the part A. Now we got to deal with the rest of this. So I got a shaft is in there. Switch. Well, we'll see. I see so far. I might have to numb you here from here on out. Oh. Let's see. I got a little time, so let's see if I can get the fragment out. All right. Switch that real hurry. Switch it back. Come on, underneath. Come on. Okay. Mirror. Retract. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold up. Okay, let's zoom in, take a look at those threads. Huh. Suction again. Oh, so someone tried to go in and get that out. And they went up and down the side. It looks like they went up and down the side. I could be wrong, but uh, perhaps. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. It could have caused an issue on the sides. So I'm going to put a little bit of tartar and stain down there right now. Yep. Yeah. Yes, please. Open wide. Microsuction. Okay, so we're still filming here. I'm trying to get at least a hands on and handle on what, what what's going on. Retract, please. Light retraction. Okay. Hold on to that. Okay, so I'm squirting a little bit down in there. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Suction ready. On. Okay, so let that penetrate right now. So it's mixing a little bit with the coagulum. The tissue's behaving. It's not collapsing on us, so that's good news. We know there's a timetable involved here. Now, if he went home overnight, 
that all tissue would close in and then they'd have to do another procedure to open it up. So, one of the downsides. So, let's see. And we just put the TNS in there, the tartar and stain remover. Hold on. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pre soak it some more. Okay. Yeah, new one. You alright? Mm -hmm. Retract. You can see where the fracture of the screw thread is. And, uh, Let's clear our mirror now. I'm going to come back to uh, to this so this doesn't record too too long. So let me come back. We'll do another part B here, and uh, with this rescue case.